The readings today are chock full. I want to hit on two, two points. What was the sin of Adam and Eve? It wasn't eating the apple. We should leave the apple growers alone. Apple's not even mentioned. The high scripture people say it was probably a pomegranate fruit at that. The sin was grasping after something they were not. Grasping after something they were not. And I think as we merge closer to the season of Lent on March 6th, we need to think about that. If we're created in God's image and likeness, if we're a child of God, brother and sisters to the risen Lord, inheritors to God's heavenly kingdom, what more do we need? And yet, the sin of Adam and Eve was grasping after something they were not, the temptation to be like God, to forget their place. Sometimes when we have temptation, the best thing to do is to pause and to think what we're grateful for, to think of the blessings we have received from God. And if we're grateful and we remember our blessings and we remember all the good that God has given us, then we don't have to grasp after something we are not. Then we don't have to grasp thinking that we can be something greater than what God has already intended us to be. The gospel passage today gives us a great scene in Mark's gospel. And whenever we hear from Mark's gospel, it's always movement. Jesus is always moving around. And the point of Mark's gospel was to get people to decide who and what Jesus is. For Mark's gospel was the first gospel written. And so the whole point of the gospel is to get the hearers of the gospel, when it's proclaimed, to decide who and what Jesus is. And so today, we have Jesus curing and healing. And that same word, epithatha, be open, is used at every baptism. The final ritual of baptism after the parents have presented the child to be baptized, after the child gets a garment or a new candle, the final ritual is the priest touch the child's mouth and ears. May the Lord open your ears and your mouth that you may proclaim and hear God's holy word, epithatha. We too have to be open in our journey. We, too, have to be open to the grace of God in our life. This day, as we pray for all those we know who are suffering from illness, let us be open to God's will in our lives. Let us be open in knowing the graces and the blessings and what we are grateful for. And that way, we will not grasp after something we are not.